Tonight, Mac Brown tells his players he is leaving. The Alamo Bowl will be his final game as Longhorn coach. Good evening. Coach Brown's resignation announcement tonight, our top news story. We've got a lot of reaction for you in this next half hour. Sports Director Roger Wallace joining us. And all week long, it's been the roller coaster. A lot of speculation. Yeah. He said he would decide and make a decision, let us know. Now, keep in mind, this is one of the most high-profile positions in the state. You bet. One of the most recognizable mans in the state. Maybe the top job in college football, and it is open. Mac Brown announces that the Alamo Bowl on December 30th will be his final game at Texas. 16 years. He has led the Texas program to heights they hadn't seen in three decades. Help rebuild the stadium, raise money beyond belief. They are the richest athletic department in the country, largely because of the football program. But Brown said in a statement tonight that, in part, it's been a wonderful ride. Now the program is again being pulled in different directions. And I think the time is right for a change. He also said in the statement that it is the best coaching job and the premier football program in America. I sincerely want it to get back to the top, and that's why I'm stepping down after the bowl game. Also, he said, I hope with some new energy we can get this thing rolling again. What a couple of weeks on the job for Steve Patterson, the new AD. He said, I've had a number of talks with him recently, and he has always said he wanted what was the best for the University of Texas, and now this decision weighed heavily on him, or no, the decision weighed heavily on him. Today, he told us he's ready to move forward. Interesting that President Bill Power says he looks forward to working with Brown in a different capacity, which is a hint that he might stick around in some sort of position similar to Darrell Royal after he was done coaching and as the athletic director. He was hired some 16 years ago. It was more like a pep rally than a press conference, and he rallied the program like it hadn't seen in a long time. I think we can do that a little bit to start it with, huh? Mac Brown arrived in Austin from North Carolina in December of 1997 and understood from the start the pressure cooker he was getting himself into. If someone asked me if I'd like to win a national championship or if I expect it, I'd be a fool to sit up here and say no when that's what you want to do if you're in this business. And, and that's one of the reasons I came. Brown immediately went to work on his specialty, building relationships. Just needs a little experience. He won over Darrell Royal before he was hired, and the two became extremely close. Then he started recruiting. One of the first things we'll try to do is make sure that we get everybody pulling in the same direction. He recruited a fractured fan base. He recruited former players back into the program. And most importantly, he recruited the best high school talent in the state. He even recruited Ricky Williams. And that's why I'm going to stay here one more year. Convincing him to stay for what turned out to be a Heisman Trophy season. Hello. Texas improved from four wins in 97 to three consecutive nine-win seasons and then went 11-2 and two in 2001, but it ended in disappointment with a Big 12 championship game lost to Colorado that also cost them a trip to the national title game. But the bar was raised, and after 11 wins in 02 and 10 in 03, they broke through, going 11 and 1 in 2004, capped off by that memorable Rose Bowl win over Michigan which also proved to be a prelude of things to come. In 2005, Texas beat number four Ohio State on the road in dramatic fashion and then ended that five-game losing streak to Oklahoma and from there steamrolled to their first Big 12 championship under Brown. And then it was back to the Rose Bowl and they capped it off with what many call the greatest college game and performance with Vince Young icing UT's fourth national title on that fourth down touchdown run. Vince to the five, Young, touchdown Texas, touchdown Vince Young. From the championship season, the torch was passed from Vince Young to Colt McCoy. And after back-to-back 10-win -back seasons, it was another run in a national championship, but it was prematurely derailed on that last-second loss at Texas Tech. But the Horns came storming back in 2009 and did it again, undefeated in the regular season, including a heart-stopping win over Nebraska in the Big 12 title game. Then it was back to the championship game at the Rose Bowl. But on the first series against Alabama, Colt McCoy went down with an injury. Colt is hurt. And the Longhorns would lose to the Crimson Tide, a loss that Brown admitted he could not shake for quite some time and in some respects was the early beginning of the end. That next season in 2010, the bottom dropped out. Longhorns go 5-7 and seven 
and that led to massive coaching changes. While Texas improved with eight wins in 2011 and nine in 2012, they were never serious contenders. This year, supposed to cap off the rebuilding plan, but the September 7th loss to BYU sent the program into a tailspin. While they were able to rebound in conference play before losing out on a Big 12 title to Baylor. In all, Brown wins 158 of his 244 career victories at Texas. It included a streak of nine straight, ten or more win seasons. Ten bowl victories out of 14 appearances, two conference titles, and that national championship. Mac Brown, known as maybe the greatest recruiter, recruiting today. Yeah. My guess is message. You want to come play for the University of Texas, and that's what he's always been about. Whether University I'm here of Texas. or not.